What's going on, everybody? Happy, happy Saturday night. I know, a Saturday night video. Well, this video, we're going to cover what I've been doing. I know, it's been a while since the video. Almost probably, what, five, six days. Um, what I've been up to. What that means with a picture on the screen. Um, we're going to hit a little bit about the future stuff going on. Yeah, we're not going to talk any card crazy and drama stuff going on. We'll save it for some videos coming out this week. I know I'm tracking the Beckett stuff, the Graydon stuff going on, a couple scam stuff going on out there and stuff like that. I'll play some voice into that stuff here coming up. So, recently, been my bar, lots of stuff. You know how it goes. Tax season. Everybody wants to come in last minute and I only do it part-time to get their taxes done. Uh, tax questions. I, I I purposely tell everybody, like, March 31st, I'm done. And there's a reason why, because I know those last 15 days, everybody tries to hit you up. I understand, you know, whenever somebody has late documents coming corrected and all that stuff, I got it. But that was it there. A lot of card stuff going on. The new dog. Remember the roof on the house thing from the storm? Finally got the first check. Um, Getting that done, not this week, but the following week. So, like, eight, nine days, that type of week there. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Going back to the office Monday, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Uh, it's a lot of craziness. So I had a friend reach out to me. He's like, "Hey, man, it's slow down. You need to take a break. You need to put some stuff on the back burner. You're gonna burn yourself out." You know, probably coming from almost anybody else, I probably taken it as an insult. <laughs> this guy's known me for oh boy, twenty five plus years. And I was like, wait a minute, for him to say something like this, I knew I might want to, you know, stop what I'm doing and pay attention, which I did. He's right, I had to take a break. I know probably a lot of people fall into too much stuff going on in their lives, whether it's baseball cards or outside life, family stuff, job stuff, kids stuff, whatever it may be. Eventually it just gets to you because you just keep creating more and more work. So I took a step back. And now I'm back. Rejuvenated, ready to roll, guys. Ready to roll, ready to roll. Anybody see me at the last uh, card show? You can tell me I was tired, trying to keep up. I was just burnt, trying to, you know, create positivity in the hobby. No, <laughs> just trying to be nice and not like, you know, sourpuss, I call it out there and stuff like that. But yeah, back. You guys, ready to talk about the picture now? If you're in the Discord group, you've already seen a lot of the pictures. So yesterday, Friday. Left it, oh gosh, was that four? I got up at four in the morning. Got out of the house 4.45, got back at like 7 p.m. at night. Drove up to Mansfield, Ohio. Not to be confused with Mansfield, Kentucky. It had the tornado come through, but Mansfield, Ohio. And kind of weird. Uh, we found out that was like the murder capital of Ohio. <laughs> Luckily, the hotel was right across from the sheriff barracks. Um, Man, I'm going to say one thing. That's some rude people up in Ohio. Right about that. I'm used to kind of a little more of Southern generosity and charm, even though they might talk about you behind your back, but man, craziness there. But, got to meet somebody and his wife, meet up with them. We have actually both got there early, so the deal got done early. I actually brought an overnight bag, just in case. It was too late and I didn't want to drive back. So, um, what you see on the screen is what I picked up. There was 32 boxes, 29 full of cards, one full of supplies, and two were empty. There is an autographed baseball bat of Frank Thomas there. Probably about five boxes of card saver ones. Bunch of top loaders, bunch of sleeves, bunch of autographed jerseys to highlight a few names onto it. Two Gale Sayers, one's gone. Uh, Damian Lillard sold. Wayne Wade, keeping. Terry Bradshaw autographed football. Bolitnikoff was one. Tony Esposito for hockey. Powers for the Celtics. Andre Dawson. Jenny Fitch. Just to name a few. Bunch of jerseys. Todd Gurley. Um, Paul Moulter autographed ball was in there. Spencer, is it Harwood, I believe? Uh, autographed basketball. Uh, Non-sports stuff. There was a Kevin Bacon auto in there. Um, some lady from like the 50s or 60s, I guess, was hot. Maybe she's a porn star. I have no idea. Uh, trying to think here. Autograph. Frank Thomas. Big, big photo. Like, huge. We're talking like poster board size. Same with the uh, 
Orioles team. If you're in Discord, you guys saw all the pictures. There was a boxing glove, Sugar, Sean, the Mosley. I can't remember the name. That shows how much uh, work I've been doing so far. But a lot, a lot of stuff. That's just to highlight what I was just talking about in there. There was no like $100,000 cards in there. Um, this here was like the end of the uh, deal because we'd done three to lead up to clearing out everything. This was the back end stuff onto it. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, some stuff might go out to be graded. A lot of stuff for whatnot. I mean, I, I'm not even looking this stuff over because there's like five, ten of some card. Putting them in player lots. Starts tomorrow, Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Stop by, see me. We'll probably continue doing Sunday afternoons. We're going to see how that rolls um, with me working on Mondays now. If that interferes to where I'm going to start having like hiccups and problems getting stuff shipped on Mondays, we'll probably bounce it to... Friday nights and ship out Saturdays. And then if I have a card show on a Saturday, there won't be no whatnot. But if you're looking for deals, I'm talking about lot deals, like, you know, four, five, six, ten, twelve cards come by. Um, you know, pretty much it's going to be like this. There may be <laughs> surface issues and whiting on the cards. I have no idea. Unless I seen it really when I was recasing it, then I put it into a different pile of stuff. I just stuck them in cases onto it. So you could find some gems, you could find some nines, eight, sevens, probably some ones. I don't know. Actually, I probably wouldn't give you guys a one unless it was vintage. But you guys get to drift on that stuff. So really cool deal. Finally all done. I'm very thankful for it. I know he watches the video, so thank you. Hope you got to go to Canton and everything out there. I'm going to give you a text anyhow tomorrow. I didn't know. I know you are doing a little vacationing. I don't want to bug you. But, um, all right, guys. That's Pretty much the thing. That's what I'll be doing for like the next six months to a year, going through all this stuff. Two and a half boxes only gone through so far. I know he's probably curious. Yeah, two and a half. I now just so everybody knows, um we just video, I don't remember if I said it or not. They just told me I had a slip disc in my neck. Um it's not like a huge deal because it's not like surgery, it's not over eight millimeters. Um, but they're redoing everything onto it because for some reason it was in a report, but nobody ever saw that report. I have no idea why. So I gotta get re-imaging and all this stuff done, so we're gonna take a look at it. But uh he helped me get it all into the car. I unloaded all of the car down in my basement, hour and a half, all that stuff. Crazy. Like I was dying. <laughs> but yeah, it was it's fun. It's not like I'm complaining or nothing like that. It was fun. And it's gonna it's really fun going through this. Joey was on the phone with me earlier, got to hear me like, oh my gosh, so check this out, check this out, you know, type deal. Just stuff from my childhood and stuff, you know, even not even my childhood, like my early 20s and stuff. Just cool stuff. But, alright guys, we're going to flip screen here. Flip screen here. You've been sticking with me this long. Wait, i got to figure out where it's at here. Hey, rookie here, huh? There we go. Giveaway time! Giveaway time! Giveaway time! Rules! Lies! Whatever it may be. So, we're going to start the giveaway time now. Let's go Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, 8 p.m. Standard Time. Come live. We'll draw a winner based off a comment on this video. I was going to hook it up with somebody else's stuff. But honestly, i got to do that. <laughs> I will get that person next time. So, Todd Gurley autographed jersey. It is... Pull myself out of this room. Hurt. All right. This is a college jersey. I believe Georgia Bulldogs. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. Georgia Bulldogs. Is PSA DNA certified? Boom. Autographed. And the 713. You guys can't tell. 713 up there, too. Take it away. All you got to do. This video. Make comment. Hashtag thank you. Individual that I bought this stuff, or I should say the individual, the gentleman and his wife that I bought this from. I'm used to talking army slang. I try to control it on here. But the gentleman and his wife that I bought this from knew I was going to do a lot of the uh, stuff with giveaways. Um, and so wanted to put that out just so you guys knew. But it, it kind of like, you know, worked it in a deal knowing that some of the stuff was going to go as giveaways to a good home type deal and everything like that. So. First one up, Todd Gurley autograph jersey. 
Hashtag, thank you. I would put his name on here, but I don't know if he wants it known and stuff like that. So just put hashtag thank you, and he'll know it's me and go out to him and stuff like that. So I wanted to wait, 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 wait. No lie. Did this video already. I cut it, and I was like, oh, I forgot to do the giveaway. Freaking like the fifth rookie mistake I made doing a video today. You guys don't get to see all the other cuts I had to do because of just rookie mistakes and not being doing a video for a while, you know? But yeah, hashtag thank you in here. Onto, onto a comment, onto this video. We'll use a comment picker. Bullet. Chips. It'll come to you into one of those great FedEx, or FedEx, USPS bubble envelopes. Easy to ship and mail out. Easy to put into your mailbox type deal. Um, I said Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come live real quick. Uh, like, I'll give you guys like about five or ten. I'll come on like five or ten minutes early. I'll give you guys like five or ten minutes. Then we'll run it for the picker and everything. And that way it gets shipped out, hopefully, to the person Saturday, if not Monday. If I know your address is coming right to you. Not even question asked. Especially if I shipped you within the last 30 days. All right, everybody. I think that's everything in this video that I meant to have in it. Because, no lie, I threw the piece of paper away after my third time of doing a video today. And I didn't want to bring out a caramel piece of paper and try to read my chicken scratch onto it. Better that, guys. You guys have a good rest of the weekend. It's finally nice here. Get a little grass cut tomorrow. What not live, 3 p.m. Eastern. Come get your lots. Come get your lots. You will be in shock with some of them. I'm telling you right now. All right, guys. That is it. I am out. I will catch you all next one. Stay safe out there.